poppy a little bit. But for now, we're going to move on to the boot. And the boot, right now, we're going to dry brush. So, for dry brushing, what we will do is we will take a clean brush, bristle, it's about a size 8, and see nice and hard bristles on it there. And we will dip it in white, a tiny bit of blue, we don't want it too chalky looking. And we want to, all I'm doing is taking my white and add a tiny bit of blue to it as you can see. And then I'm going to wipe it off in my tissue. I'm just going to take all that paint off as much as I can. Alright, and I'm going to take what's left on my brush and start scrubbing. First of all, I'm not going to push too hard because I want to see how much paint's going to come off. And I'm just going to scrub that around. Good. All right. A little bit over here. And if it's too much, just wipe off your, your brush again. Just wipe it off. That's what I just did. And what's left over on your brush, you just scrub it around. And the less that's on your brush, the better you can work with it, okay? Now wipe off your brush again even more. See if you can get all of the paint off it, basically. Scrub it into your tissue. And then move it around a little bit more. Tissue came off. See, and you get that nice soft smoky look. You can also use this technique for fog, smoke, mist, clouds. See, once you learn a technique, you can certainly uh, use it in lots of your paintings. Let's go over here. I'm not going to reload yet. I'm going to see what's left over my brush. I'm going to go over here. Good. I'm just going to use... I'm going to skip over an area so we can keep some shadow. See all the... the highlights you can get from just that little tiny bit of paint on your brush skipping over see that keeps that shadow there now see makes it so much easier just scrubbing away very little paint on my brush it's only what's left over good see how it gives that nice and here around. We want to keep those shadows. It's an easy way to do shadows, isn't it? I'll show you. See? That was all dry brushed. There's your shadows. Good. Now let's see how much more we get left on our brush here before we have to reload again. Good, we're still got lots there. Scrub away. Make sure you keep some of your shadows. Good. And the back of the heel. pretty good, doesn't it? I don't think we need much more there. If you go ahead and try and lighten it up again more, you might end up using too much paint and then you're going to have to go back and repaint the boot again. So just make sure, even if you have to test it out on a, another piece of cardboard or something, test it out and see how much paint's coming off your brush. Alright. So now that there's hardly any paint on your brush, you can just touch up some areas that you think need more. 
There we go. I think that's good. And then a little bit across the top here. Because this paint up here is dry, you won't uh, you won't bother that. All right, I think that is good. So take your, well, let's take a filbert brush and try putting more dark shadows, okay? So we don't need much here. We just need to clean up that edge there by the looks of it. But we're going to take, um, let's see, let's see, some ultramarine blue. I really need to darken that up. Some ultramarine blue and some of your burnt umber. Mix it together in a really dark color. If you need to get it darker, just go in and get some more. Go get some black to add to it. If you can't get it dark enough, try adding a little bit of red to darken it up a bit more. You, you think red would... <laughs> you think it would lighten it up, wouldn't you? But uh, all these colors work together and make a really nice dark color. So I'm just going to put a bit of shadow down around here. All right. See? That nice. It makes it so much All these little things, little details, and really add to your paintings. Good. And these up here are pretty good. We don't need to do much with those shadows because they're already there, so I don't think we need to do much with those. Let's see, let's see. We're good. Good, good. Maybe a little bit more here between these. Yeah, let's do that. And what else? What else? Let's see. Oh, I know. How about we put some on the edges here? We got a shadow on these edges here. That will straighten those up. And a shadow Let's see. Let's see. A shadow underneath that and around the edges. So all around these edges here we'll put a little shadow. And that'll straighten up what you got down there. Good. Here. Look at your reference photo and see where the shadows are. Alright. Here. And underneath here. Alright, I think that's that. See the difference though? How nice that makes it look? going to do is we're going to highlight that bottom of that boot there. So take your bristle brush again and same deal, a bit of white, a little bit of blue and wipe it off in your tissue so it's hardly anything on there. All right and then we're going to scrub on just I'm very gently touching the boot. So we're going to Bends in here a little bit and comes, let's see, comes in here. 
see where I get that shape. So over here, bends out again a little bit here. All right. So got a bit of a dip here to make it look, give it that shape, right? So the dip there and then the highlights here. Then you got a little bit of highlight coming over here, the very tip of your brush. Let's put that on there and a little bit down here about a shadow. Might need a little more white paint much a bit of light there just touching and pulling so that it's not too much of a straight line just so that it's kind of just so that it's not too straight looking where else how about right here Make that into a highlight. I'll fix that there in a second. And then we'll have a little bit of highlight here. A highlight here on this edge might be a little brighter, so I'll just add a little bit more white. I might need to go in and get a... I'm going to get a smaller brush. I'm going to get my filbert. Make sure it's clean. I have a little bit of white. And I'm going to highlight this edge here. There we go. And here. All right, so I'm gonna add a little dark color to that because I need to break it up a little bit. It's a bit too much. See how I can fix things? Just fix it up. That's a bit better. Okay, so make sure that nice and dark here. So we have that little bend in there. There we go. And make sure your shadows are nice and dark. Like I said, if you have to go get a bit of black, dad with your blue and brown, and go ahead and do that. All right, we're getting there. We're almost finished. See something you don't like, just fix it. Right. This shadow down here, I'd like to have that a bit darker, you know? I'm just going to add brown and blue and a bit of red. And I'm going to straighten that shadow up a little bit. Good. make it look like a shadow. There we go. All right, so I noticed here we don't have this filled in, so we'll do that. We're almost to the end of it now, so don't go anywhere yet. I know, I know, just put me on pause if you get tired. Don't leave me, don't leave me here by myself. Please. All right, so I'm going to put some of these little lines in here. Just to make it look like they're uh, shadows of the, the decoration on the boot. All right, so that's that. A few more little touch-ups now and we will... And I will let you go and try this, or if you're already following along with me, 
If you have any problems, let me know. Like I said, it is a bit tedious and a little bit, you know, back and forth. But um, if you work at it, you should get a cute little puppy in a boot. Puppy dog in a boot. I think it's coming along pretty good, actually. As long as you get the highlights and all the different things and the shadows and shading. See how it brings it to life? A few more touch-ups and then I will let you go. All right. So this part here and these parts, we're going to highlight those and um, take a little bit of white. Pick up a little bit of beige color, or that color that you're using for the dog. And on your little liner brush, and all you have to do is keep your dark underneath, but just highlight the top, okay? Highlight the top there, so that brings it out a little bit. And this one here, we'll just highlight the top. And we have a shadow there, so I'll fix that. And then we have another little, this one's underneath. I'm just going to put that little shadow in there. I keep calling it shadow, but it's actually a highlight. Keep your shadow. All right, that's good. Now, so let's make our shadow here. We have a shadow right here. It's coming right out into the boot. You may not be able to see it. And I'm going to add a little bit of a shadow around this corner here and in here, just to bring it out a bit more. All right, and let's see where else. Where else? Let's see. It's okay. I think we're doing good. I think. What else do we need to do to clean this up a little bit? I think everything is looking good. Um, these here, I think I'm going to do a glaze on those. All right. So here's what we're going to do. We'll take a flat brush or a filbert, doesn't matter, and we will put a little glaze on, on those uh, that, that decoration. So I'm just going to put blue and, um, let's see, white. I don't think I'm going to add any more colors. I think we'll just stick with the blue and white for now. And in order to make that see through, because we don't want to lose what we already saw, Dip your brush into water. Don't bother to clean it off. Let it drip. Pick up some of that there so that you can see through it. So it's transparent. And then go over this with that glaze. There we go. And see, even if you go into the boot, what you already have done won't matter because it won't uh, cover up it. It won't cover that up. All right, so glazes are great because you get to keep everything that you already did. All you're doing is enhancing the color or uh, toning down the color or changing color a little bit. So that's a good thing. Glazes are really nice. See, so we didn't do much. We just toned down the, the white a little bit. And when that dries, we want a little bit of white. If you want to highlight some of those, you can just add little tiny bits of white here and there. Little taps of white. So there's our puppy dog in a boot. And um, I hope you enjoyed this video today. And uh, if you have any questions, email Allison Pryor at yahoo.com. And I'll see you in the next video. Signing out from Allison Pryor. Bye.